Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? God, I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this.
Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of.
scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my god. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh, ah! Oh, hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello, come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike! Boom! Shakalaka! Okay. Now you got me. Okay. <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah? But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? I felt that we made some good progress in our last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, 
We're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience.
This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Cockroaches, clowns, and needles. Ooh. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I got moved to the back and next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? That feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I... Oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. All right? Yeah. Aside from being kind of cold and vaguely creeped out by this place. It's, it's kind of weird being back up here, huh? Yeah.
Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. And well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, dude, this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim.
here. How was that? Chris, very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay.
perfect. We're freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. And yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off, have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa, easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. What's the going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? I am. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Okay, if we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, 
She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm? We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Cabin, anyway. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you going to do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? 
epic jealousy. Suck it. Nice one, Mikey. Damn. The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. No, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. It's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay. I'm Getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it.
Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way. <laughs> ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh... You didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. All right. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. All right, try it again. It's super heavy. Maybe you already loosened it a bit. Hey, Michael. I'm like pretty ripped at all, but... I don't think I can move it. Any other bright ideas? All right, Jess, I'm gonna drop the light down. Okay, look alive. What? Look, al all right, just heads up. You get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. <sighs> Something. A bat? All right, coming after you. Just stay put. My bats have rabies. Well, it's not gonna bite you. Okay, that's what bats do. They bite me. the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster.
Okey-dokey. Weird place to hang out and smoke cigars. <laughs> it's recent. Wonder who's up here. This is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think it's my <laughs> You alright? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. This is a real fixer-upper. Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the... Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin... Uh, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh. Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug <laughs> a bear.
just, just answering his meeting. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. Josh, could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike, you got something on your face. That's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> yes! Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge.
Mensch. sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. Guess so. Brad, I mean, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along?
new messages. Notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like... Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> No, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and, you know, that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever... We're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I wanted to 
want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, well, save it for the couch, right? <laughs> okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. the light so I can see, okay? Sam, please. First things first, we gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mmm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Ah, oh, damn. It's okay. I'm just... try again. Not that hard, just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, I'll get it this time. Sure. Whoa. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Bye, girl. Josh, 
Seriously. There's something back there. <laughs> I gotcha! All right, all right, your point. 30 love. What? No. Where'd you get the first point? Doesn't start at 30? No, 15. Oh. Oh, more of a ping pong gal. <laughs> Josh. What? The rhythm's like weirdly regular. Not, not, nothing regular about it. Maybe we should go check it out. Why? What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me. I wouldn't want this place to burn down in my watch. Yeah, right. not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared. Admit it. I was Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just... Been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? Is that so? Because 
That's not reflected in the way you are playing your game. Now is it? Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So, you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? <sighs> charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness... Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Well, watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must... I am Hayden Penetier, and we are here at the studio recording Until Dawn. My name is Rami Malik, and I play Josh. My name is Megan Martin. My name is Brett Dalton. My name is Antonella Lentini, and I played Hannah and Beth. My name is Jordan Fisher, and I play the character Matthew, Matt for short. I'm Nicole Bloom, and I play Emily in the game. My name is Noah Fleiss. I am Galadriel Steinman, and I play Ashley. So, Until Dawn is the story of eight teenagers who uh, revisit this cabin in the woods about a year later after a, a really traumatic experience where I've lost two of my sisters, so coming to kind of get some closure in that respect. One of the things that Larry does really well is make these multi-layered characters, and I think for just the story in general, it's, it follows the quintessential horror film plot lines, but the characters are so unique in themselves, and I think that's very cool. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. Sam, Sam and I have uh, a few things in common, such as being huge lovers of animals and she's a huge animal lover she's vegan she um, she is a pacifist I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna go as far as saying that I'm a pacifist but uh, she's spunky and cool I know that she I think is is made fun of a little bit by the rest of them who who think that her morals and her beliefs in that area are a little ridiculous and they don't agree with them, but she doesn't care. It doesn't stop her from being herself, and that's something that I hope I have in common with her. You know, he definitely uh, 
can be depressed at some times and a bit of a loner, but he, he takes some solace in one of his sister's friends, Sam, played by Hayden Penetier, and uh, invites everybody back to the same house the next year to kind of find some closure. Jessica is... She has a whole lot of personality. She is definitely the sort of mean girl character that, you know, at school she, she knows she's pretty, she knows that boys like her, and she's gonna use it to her advantage. He's got a big heart, and you can tell that that's very evident, especially how he treats his girlfriend, Emily, and, um, you know, he's, he's kind of a meathead, but in the best way possible. She really knows what she wants, and she manages to, to get that from whomever it is, whether it be Matt or Mike, you know, she's really driven, and I can definitely relate to that. My, my character is uh, Chris, and he is uh, what society might consider the nerd of the group, um, and, and he kind of embraces it. Um, Ashley is, she's a little more serious than some of the other girls. Um, she's definitely very intelligent and, and thoughtful. She kind of looks at the whole big picture of things. She's not quite as geeky as Chris, but they connect in a lot of ways. Mike is like big guy on campus. He's uh, the class president who has some charm and has, has a brain. And I, I don't know, people seem to like Mike. He gets away with a lot, though. He's, he can be kind of kind of jerky. The fact that he, he really just kind of wants everyone to be happy when he wants for he's he's a people pleaser and um, it's I can I can definitely attest to being you know that guy. I'm, I'm always the friend that wants everybody to be happy and wants everybody to be taken care of and that's definitely Matt. But also like this character is just so fun. I rarely get to play the bitch and so it was really it was really fun to do that. The spirit of things, seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I just think this is just the coolest thing to be a part of and um I just think it's gonna take the world by storm, I really do. I think this genre is the wave of the future and I think that um, once people see the potential behind it uh, of getting to interact with the drama that you're witnessing unfold um, in such a realistic way, um, that this, this is how entertainment's going to be from now on. Free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since... You're a recent convert. Why don't you be our medium for today? Okay. Um, is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? Wait a minute, did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. How can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. Whoa. What's it spelling? <laughs> War. It's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us.
What are you warning us about? Oh, oh here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh, God. This is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, can find out what happened that night. Josh? I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Hannah, if you can hear this, like, really hear this, we all want to apologize for what happened. It, it was stupid and, and mean, and we're sorry. We're so sorry, Hannah. B? E? T? R? Uh-oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K? I? L? L? E? D? No. Kill. We did it. Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just, we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry, I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Okay. Okay. How did you die? Hannah, what happened to you? L, I, B. The library. Maybe there's something in the library. E, R, O, O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library. Oh, no. oh. Holy shit, Chris. You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man, I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. Jess, buddy, you in there? Jessica. Ah! Whoa, Christ. Scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway?
Jess? Hun? Light of my life? I totally promise I won't murder you when I find you. Oh! Oh, oh my god. god. No. <laughs> that was so good. Not, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You had to see this. You to I'm not look, seeing you know, it. No. No. Right. no. <laughs> you recorded that? I, look at your face. <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. Oh, it's scary. Oh, I'm sorry to I, scare you. If we send that to anybody, you I'm what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind melting thrill skills. Someone screaming? No. No. Uh, probably just a squirrel. Something. Creep town. <laughs> Shh. What? Do you hear this? No. Hello? Someone there?
charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. But oh hey buddy. God, the poor thing. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Mike, it's in so much pain. It'll be over soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a friend! Over here, over here! Mike! Get over here! Oh. We're almost there! I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Arr. 
This is... Not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes, my lady. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. All right, logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Mike! What? Oh, crap! What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Jess, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Crap! No! I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Yeah. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Looky, looky. Who's going to fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just I'm not feeling it yet. Am I doing something wrong? No, 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 no. I mean, I thought you were one way, but you're kind of another way. Does, does that make sense? It's, it's not your fault. Uh, Jess, I really like you. Whoever you think I am, well, just give me a chance, and I will show you what you need. Well, I am liking your confidence. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is.
Voila. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep where? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh, <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. You're just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah, and that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. I am definitely ready to be handled. It's your phone! What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, fuck! Thank God damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business.
you really think the girls were communicating with us? I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <laughs> Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Oh, that opens. That explodes. Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom-com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know. This place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Whoa, is what this... did you find? Holy cow. Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but... But look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I... I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back.
So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. You hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Coming! Hold on! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Bring it! Ashley! Are you okay? Um. Ash? Ash? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important.
tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? I guess you think he's getting what he deserves. You think the way you feel about him justifies the terrible trauma that he'll soon go through. Now, why would you think that? Oh, time's up. Come back soon. We'll talk again. Perhaps in the meantime, you can try to figure that one out for yourself. One individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land. Hi, this is Lee Robinson, production designer on Until Dawn. The production design for Until Dawn started with the great teen horror script that sets the characters in a Canadian Winter Mountain Lodge, being a contemporary setting with visual clues derived from classic films of that genre, such as Hitchcock's Psycho and Stanley Kubrick's Shining. The storyboards are vital to the production design as it allows the designer to understand the scale of the environments to be made and the detail that would be seen to create the atmosphere of a horror. This took us into concepts that took these storyboards further, visualizing the world through the color palette, the lighting, tone, and the mood, and developing key locations such as the lodge, the cable car stations, the forests themselves, the wilderness. As you can see, the environments and atmospheres changed quite a bit from warm and inviting to cold and threatening. The Millionaire's Mountain Lodge was a key example it was designed to be made from nearby stone and timber, embedding it into the landscape, with a contrasting and contemporary interior, needing to be opulent and extravagant. We created dark and claustrophobic corridors, with ominous and large open spaces, almost cathedral-like in size, and with huge structures to silhouette and dwarf the characters within, providing a labyrinth to explore and wander. Each character was developed with a strong visual identity in mind, with contrasting colours, tones and silhouettes to identify them, each to have their own texture, pattern and shape, so that when they were lined up you could always identify them. The costume designs allowed a range of clothes that would suit them for the cold winter weather but also have an element of style and individualism, so that the audience could look at them and relate, recognising themselves within them. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right, well, it'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes. Working with the lighting artists, we really brought the look and feel of the world together. And this required a thorough understanding of the visual language of teen horror. A key scene was where all the characters emerge out of the rear of the lodge chasing Hannah. A contrast is evident straight away from the exterior wilderness to the warmth of the lodge. The attention to character lighting here is through the bounce and rim lighting, accented colours and composition, creating characters that come from the dark into the light and back again with an emotional effect. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? What's going on? Where's my sister going? Oh, it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Ah! Oh. oh my god. 
Yes. Hey. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. Ah! Keep going.
No, Jessica. No, Jessica.
Jesus. What the fuck is that place? Ashley! Ashley? Anyone out there, Ashley? talking to me. What happened? Chris, tie me up. I can't move. Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. Really? Oh. Chris, are you there? Hello. <gasps> and thank you all for joining oh me. God, wake up. Tonight, what? we're gonna what conduct a little experiment. Sort of test. Now for this experiment, no, I don't, I don't we'll need the cooperation know. of our two Test subjects, Joshua and Ashley. What? Oh my God! But we're gonna need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Oh, no. oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Chris, oh, get us out of here! Look please, from here, you may please, please, everyone, calm down. It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Oh, no. Please, just get me oh, out shit, of here. Shit, no! Oh, God, I'm oh, the right! Okay, 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 okay. This is gonna be okay. Oh, dude, buddy. Oh, let's just think God. about this Chris, for a minute. you can't let me die! Just give me a second. I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just... Huh?
God, Ash. I'm sorry. Chris, please. Oh, God. This is insane. This is nuts. This isn't happening. Chris, please tell me this isn't happening. Oh. I see. I don't know what to do. You've chosen to save Ash. No, it's a mistake. It's only meant. Josh, I'm so sorry. No, I didn't mean for this to happen. No, 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 Why would you do this? I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you down. I'm letting you down. Shh, shh, shh stop, please. Come on, come on, let's let's, let's get no. you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No! You gotta go, okay? Chris! Ashley! What? what? Whose blood is that, Ash? Are you okay? Chris, what happened? Josh! Josh, what? Dude? You said Wait, that what? right in front of us, man. What are you that, talking there's about? There's a maniac. Maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, what? and he was, there was a sign. It was either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what to do. Oh god. Come right through, man. Just spill it out. Fucking everywhere! What? Oh my God, Chris! What? And I, I killed him. No, Chris. I, I killed him. It was my fault, man. No, no, this is insane. We need to go get some help. We go right in half. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Matt, we need to go get help now. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! These poor people are getting what they deserve! I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing... You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you're being particularly honest in the way you're playing.
Until Dawn is a game that's full of horror. And one of the things we decided to do early on was to take a scientific approach to how scary it was. So we did experiments on people and we measured their responses to the game. We've created a test area. It's as close to a home setup as we can get it. We've recruited ordinary people to play the game and we've left them to play it on their own. You're turning the light off. <laughs> The only difference is it's rigged with cameras and microphones that relay the data through to the next room where people are watching them play. <laughs> Bracelet here, we use for biometric testing. It measures the player's emotional response. It's called a galvanic response sensor. It makes contact with the user's skin and it measures the electrical conductivity across their skin. It's the same principle as an old-fashioned lie detector. When you're, when you're stressed, you sweat a little, very sensitive, and picks up tiny changes if the player is feeling anxious or scared. That data's fed back to a testing team, comes through as a graph. There's no point testing one or two people, you have to test a lot of people. And watch your step. When we have a scare that's consistently has a measurable emotional response, then we knew it was good. If it didn't have that, it goes back to the team for improvement. The data doesn't tell us what's wrong with the scare, it only tells us if it's working or not. Wait, okay, so you hear that too, right? Josh. Here what? we have a chapter relatively early in the game. Weirdly regular. Not, not. Nothing regular about it. We have to create tension and anxiety in the player so they are ready to, to receive the scare. the player time to recover, to cool down, to calm down and then start building the tension again be before we do the next scare. Hey. Uh, what? Hey. What the hell? Ooh, you just got mucked. Yeah, There's two things we found. One, one is we could look at the scares, analyse if our expected scares were working effectively. Were people shrieking and covering their hands or were they getting an emotional response from it? And being scientific about it means that we strip out people's opinions about whether things are working or not. We've got data and we look at the data. If it's working, we're happy with it. Really scary. <laughs> but scared and wanting to get away. <laughs> um, I actually knew maybe a bit scared to play on my own, but... <laughs> In a room with the lights on, yeah, with some other people as well. Yeah, maybe. But because I'm a scaredy cat, I would play with someone in the room. <laughs> and the lights on. It was one of the scariest games I've played in a long while. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Lord, you do this! Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there?
That's not good. That's really not good. Wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet Earth?
even here? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit.
boy. Yeah. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. And everyone likes a little loving, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy.